OK, so welcome to CA Member Choice Vacations. Uh, if you're wondering, if you take a look at that picture for a second, where could this be in the world? Well, it's not in Britain. It's not part of the trip we're going on, but this is beautiful Lake Geneva. So, so many wonderful places to visit in the world and member choice vacations goes pretty much everywhere, all seven continents. But for tonight, we welcome Father Morris and uh, his fellow travelers. And of course, Tom Brothwell is joining us from CA Travel in Prince Albert. And he is looking after, uh, always working with Father Morris and looking after booking all the clients on these wonderful trips. So thank you, Tom, for taking the time to join us as well. I just want to talk really briefly about Member Choice Vacations, a great partner of CAA travel. And uh, through our journey, something that Father Morris has traveled on, I believe now seven times with us, had wonderful experiences in different places that he's traveled with us. But our product philosophies you can see is we like to say by travelers for travelers. We are curious travelers and those who travel with us are, and we want to create journeys where every day is new and different. It's not cookie cutter. We want to spend time in the destinations, not just driving between them and taking in the, the must-see sites, but also connecting you with the local culture in the places that we travel to. And I think we do that in an excellent way. Um, we have been in business now. This is our 106th year. We started in 1918 as just a small regional coach operator on the east coast of the U.S. and have now expanded fully worldwide uh, for decades now. We have wonderful pacing. We're responsible in our travels and making sure that tourism is sustainable for generations uh, coming behind us. And it's worry free. And, you know, if you deal from the starting point with dealing with Tom and uh, his team at CA Travel, through to the experience of traveling with member choice vacations uh, we're operated by colette you will find that we are the most seasoned team in guided travel and you'll have a wonderful vacation we are your friends in a foreign land so you have this chance to go to a, a, you know countries overseas and just relax and enjoy the experience as we tour throughout these places. Again, we're a, a, a close partner with CA Travel, so members get savings on all tours, so you get $100 off right off the bat uh, traveling with CA. And tonight, we're going to talk about this beautiful trip, British Landscapes. It's 10 days. We have 12 meals built in, and we're going to give you uh, hopefully a good taste and a sense of what this is like going through. And it's a beautiful itinerary because we get the chance to visit Scotland, England, and into the beautiful countryside of Wales as well. So it has a nice little mix. And stay tuned for a special surprise at the end because there's actually a nice little extension that we're offering to Paris as well, which I'm sure you want to join in on because it's a great um, great part to add in. You're so close to Paris and the opportunity to explore the French capital um, after you'll be there after the Olympics are done. So uh, the, the chaos and the crowds will have gone home and you'll have a chance to experience the beautiful city of Paris, the city of lights. So we'll begin our journey. We're going to fly into Edinburgh in Scotland and we always have you, you arrive and, you know, from start to finish, we'll talk at the end, but you have a hometown transfer from Prince Albert to the Saskatoon airport. You're going to fly over. When you arrive in Edinburgh, we meet you. We'll transfer you to your first hotel, which is all our properties are very solid four-star first-class properties, nice and comfortable. And you'll be located in the center of Edinburgh in the city center. And that first evening, we always have a beautiful welcome dinner. So you meet your fellow travelers and your local tour manager that's going to be with you from start to finish on the trip. The next morning we wake up, we begin our exploration, our journey. And we're going to start out with a visit to Edinburgh Castle and uh, home of the Royal Crown Jewels for Scotland you know an imposing site and a beautiful place to visit and from there then we're going to take you on both what we would call sort of a panoramic using the coach but also walking tour of both the new and the old town you get the modern and the medieval edinburgh is a beautiful city and uh, there's so much to do and see and explore so we're going to take you on a tour and then we're going to give you free time which we always do to 
relax and explore on your own for the afternoon and evening but we have a beautiful experience that's available to you. We're very proud at Member Choice Vacations that we include a lot in our trips up front for our guests. So you, there's not a lot of extras uh, as far as optional excursions. There's only a couple on this trip and one of them happens on the second night. If you wish, you can sign up and join us for this wonderful Scottish cultural show. So sort of Scottish food and dance and fun uh, highlighting the, the culture that is Scotland. So you can sign up for that through Tom and join that, if you wish, with Father Morris. After our second night sleep in Edinburgh, off we go and we're heading south. So we're going to make our way towards York, but first we're going to stop in the Borders region, which is uh, very historic, and make a stop in a beautiful old town from the 17th century called Jidborough, uh, which is a very historic borough uh, in Scotland, and then continue on our way to Hadrian's Wall. So Emperor Hadrian from Roman times who got the empire as far north as Hadrian's Wall and then built this line of defense. And we visit uh, an archaeological site called Vindolanda, which was built to really fortify and defend that, you know, the British Roman uh, uh territory from the Scottish tribes. So we'll have a visit there, um, fascinating ancient history and Hadrian's Wall goes right across the width of the country. It's amazing. And then we will arrive in beautiful York uh, with its minster, as you can see there, and lots to see and do. And this is only the second and only optional on the entire trip, which is uh, a chance to sign up and go for a wine, a, a, wine, a wine tasting and dinner, sorry, at a Yorkshire vineyard, which is a wonderful experience as well. So these are things that you can have a look at and pick and choose if you'd like to do them or not. And you can sign up ahead of time if you wish to, and then it's all looked after and covered before you even go. And then the next morning, uh, you'll have free time to explore in York with the shambles and the snickle ways, they call them, those narrow alleyways. And the shambles were where the uh, the butchers were and would display their meats. And some of these uh, laneways and alleyways there, you could reach out from one window and, and touch across the other one. So beautiful town to go walking in. And again, you can visit the uh, Minster there as well. And after some time in the morning to explore in York, we're going to make our way to Wales and we're going to head over to Chester with its Tudor and Victorian architecture and influences beautiful city to visit and here we're going to have upon arrival we're going to go for a nice walking tour with a local guide and that's the beauty of traveling with member choice vacations is that we have our tour manager with us from start to finish on the trip they're our friend again in a foreign land they're looking after us but they're also providing all the wonderful information the history the stories the humor, the fun, everything. And that really changes to me the travel experience because as you're going on this journey, you're getting so much more out of it. You know, what what are we seeing? What are we looking at here? What's the story behind it? And then pairing that with local guides who are experts in their own specific place, in this case, Chester, and are passionate about the history and culture of their part of the world. So we get to share some stories with them. Then the next day we have what we call choice on tour and we have this a couple times on this trip and these are days where we give you a choice of included activities. They're not optional extras. You don't have to pay for anything. You just decide which you'd like to do that day. So in this case we can have a tour of Carnarfon Castle and have a visit through there or go with the tour manager and go for a stroll around to see the shops and the cafes and see the beauty of the town. So it's really your choice and everybody's different and that's it's nice to have that option so choice on tour there you can see and the, the castle itself is absolutely beautiful and so is going for a walk around the the charming town from there we make a, a visit to a, a very beautiful countryside location in wales and that is uh, betisicoid which is that's how you pronounce if you look in the upper left it looks like betsuicoid uh, Betisicoid is uh, the Welsh name of this charming little town out in the countryside. So we go out and have a visit there. 
and then we uh, make our journey onward and we're heading back into England and we're going to go to Stratford, which is, of course, the birthplace of William Shakespeare. So we're going to visit his birthplace when we arrive there and we'll have time to explore this sort of uh, old market town and uh, do some exploration as well. You have time for uh, a wonderful dinner that night that we'll include with you. And then from there, we're going to make our way over to Oxford, which is sort of the university town. Lots to see and do in Oxford. Once again, we have choice on tour. So on this particular day, after our first night arrival, you can take in the Ashmolean Museum, which is the first public museum in Britain uh, and is sort of an art and archaeological museum or again you can go for a beautiful walking tour around in uh, Oxford and you'll see that you, know, you can go to the the museum which is showcased here or on the walking tour you get some of the old colleges universities and there's some filming locations from the Harry Potter series so it depends on whether you have kids or not I have kids but I don't think I've seen the Harry Potter movies bad me but I would be, I just love the sights as well. So, you know, it different types of experiences you see. You can kind of focus in on one thing like a castle or a museum or go for a beautiful walking tour with our tour manager. So the choice is yours, but great experiences either way. Then there's free time for lunch. You might want to grab a pint, but completely up to you. You can grab your own lunch and then we're going to make our way to London, where is the end of the sort of official British landscapes. But again, stay tuned because we have a nice little extension after that. So in London, we will take you for a nice city tour, both walking and using the coach. We're going to walk along the Thames, uh, see Big Ben, of course, and the Houses of Parliament along the river. Beautiful sights. You're also going to see Westminster Abbey. We're going to head over to Buckingham Palace and see if the king is in. We can always ring the bell, I suppose, or rattle the gates from outside but we'll see Buckingham Palace and then make our way over to Trafalgar Square as well. So you get some of the nice highlights of London. And then again, we leave you with free time. So in the afternoon, you can go exploring on your own. You might want to take a ride on the London Eye. Uh, the, the tube, uh, the subway in London is fantastic, uh, safe and fast and efficient and you can get all over the place. So if you have sort of a little wish list of things you'd like to see and do in London, and sometimes it's exploring and walking and seeing things. Sometimes it's you want to take in a high tea or go to Kensington Gardens. Or I remember years ago, my wife and I going into Harrods and getting some uh, sandwiches and deli goodies and just going to sit in Kensington Gardens and enjoy the sights. But the choice is yours. You'll have the time to relax and enjoy. And then we are going to have as we always do, we have a beautiful welcome dinner at the beginning of our trips. We have a, a farewell dinner, a celebration of a, a trip well had at the end. And I always have loved the dynamic on our tours from start to finish because we start out, um, you know, perhaps we don't know each other or we don't know everybody on the trip. And so it's it's very nice, but it's a little, you know, calm and, and you know, how are you and where are you from and nice to meet you. And that it to me is one of the joys of traveling with us is that you're not only exploring a different place, a different country and all these experiences throughout. We're having fantastic dining experiences with member choice. We eat out of the hotels more often than we eat in the hotels or in res restaurants or local venues. So you get not only good quality food, but more authentic, I think. And then as we go through this journey, we're traveling with people from different parts of the world. So that's part of the fun as well. And obviously we have a group coming right from Saskatchewan on this with Father Morris. But going to the to the farewell dinner, all of a sudden things are a little louder, a little bit more boisterous because we've become fast friends and we're having such a wonderful time. So that is the end of the British Landscapes Tour. But through this, through CA Travel and Tom and with Father Morris, there's an optional extension we can add onto this to Paris. And we have, I believe, I want to say 16 or 17 people have already signed up for the trip. And the majority have uh, also signed up to do the Paris extension. The choice is yours, but Father is going along with, I think, 10 or 11 others. 
so you can do uh, a three night extension in Paris and it's uh, a nice extension to go on again if you have if you've been to Paris it's, of all the cities in Europe I've been to Paris more than any other and I've loved it every time and been able to experience different things but and if you've not been in there well then it's a wonderful opportunity to add that in. Nice and comfortable, just under three hour journey on the Eurostar that go through the channel. So fast and efficient, we get into the center of Paris and then there we are hosted. So we're gonna have a few of the highlights that I'll cover. One of them is a beautiful Seine River cruise, which is always a wonderful way uh, to experience Paris from the river and looking up at the different sites and you know the Eiffel Tower is the most iconic I would say but my goodness there's so many wonderful sites along the the River Seine uh, on each side of the bank one of the places you can explore and what we do is actually take you on the metro so we have the tube in London in Paris on the metro their subway same thing safe, fast, efficient. That's a beautiful way to get around. And we do this on some of our tours and we do that on this extension is we actually take you on the metro because it really is a, a great way to zip around in Paris and not be up in the traffic. So one of the places we'll go is Montmartre, which is a beautiful uh, district. Er, uh, can't remember the French pronunciation right now, but the different areas of central Paris, which are beautiful to visit. Of course, the most famous Champs-Elysees, the beautiful boulevard with the Arc de Triomphe in the uh, background there. And of course, beautiful Notre Dame, which has been uh, being completely reconstructed and is getting back to its former glory. So that's on the uh, little island in the Seine River, and uh, you have the chance to go visit that as well. So there's things that we'll do included on this and things that you have free time that you can choose. Maybe you want to go to see Notre Dame, go to the Eiffel Tower, but any which way you're going to have a beautiful three night extension in Paris as well. So we in invite you to consider both the British landscapes and adding on the Paris extension. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, uh, we have this group space blocked and we have airfare available with you. And from Prince Albert, that means specifically that there is a hometown pickup so that you can join the tour. You meet at the CA office. Tom has the details, but one central location where you can meet up and then we take you by coach right from Prince Albert to the Saskatoon airport. You don't have to drive, you don't have to park, worry about anything. And that's the same thing on the return back if you're if you're going with the dates that they have blocked. And then we'll take you back to Prince Albert. Uh, there's different ways you can personalize your adventure. We talked about the uh, the optional excursions. There's only two on there. The, the evening, the Scottish sort of fun banquet evening out on the second night in Edinburgh. And then a couple nights later, the vineyard tasting, wine tasting and dinner in York, in the Yorkshire countryside. Uh, but you have the tour extension to Paris we talked about and some wonderful dining experience as well. If you're looking to upgrade your airfare, Tom can, uh, we can check as long as there's availability, we can have a look at that as well. We do have an excellent travel protection plan. This is our insurance package, if you will, and it's two main parts. The first is cancel for any reason, and that is any reason whatsoever. Like anything that's not an insurable reason, I don't like the way my hair turned out today, I'm not going on this trip. You can cancel up to 24 hours prior and you will receive cash back, not future vouchers that you have to use at some other point. So that is a complete peace of mind, if you will, that uh, if you change your mind, you can uh, cancel that. Uh, otherwise, there is the what I would call a good standard trip uh, cancellation and medical coverage and I know Tom has we uh, added on a little bit for the insurance premium but it's very affordable but added on a little bit to increase the tour interruption coverage on it as well so you, you have great coverage all the way through and we're able to hold the space on this we've had it for quite some time uh, we're going this September at the end of September um, uh, but you can book and save by March 29th. So that's when we have the space available to. So we're coming up closer to it now, but you could deposit today and even get that deposit back by March 29th. So that's something to keep in mind as well. But there's a $200 per person savings if you book by then as well. So things to consider for sure. And with that, I would like to say thank you so much. It goes pretty quick. I hope that wasn't too quick, but uh, that's our little journey through British landscapes with an addition in uh, Paris.